guys, let's get into it. I'm starting out with my Be Perfect palette. I already primed my eyes with my NARS Amande Soft Matte Concealer. And I'm going into that first shade um, in the Be Perfect palette. It's the light pink. And I'm going to blend that out on my crease and also try to buff it out a little bit too. Okay, so now we're going into that darker pink. I'm going to use that um, on my crease as well and going to buff it upward um, so that this color will be what you see when I cut the crease. So, yeah. All right, now we're going into the um, next shade, which is the purple. The purple isn't as vibrant as I would want it to be. Um... I still went ahead and used it, but uh, it didn't turn out as how I wanted it to. I wanted it to be a little bit more brighter of a purple in the crease. Um, I think I went into Sugar Pills Poison Plum to add that darker purple that I was looking for. But uh, this is the, the step I used. Okay, now we're going to get into um, my brow bone. I used the two brownish colors that's in the um, palette to put on my brow bone um nothing special they okay all right now i'm going into my concealer which is um tart shape tape and porcelain and i'm going to use my laura mercier flat eye liner brush to um carve this out and i absolutely love this brush and i need more of it i don't think they sell this brush anymore i've been looking for it on sephora if you do know <laughs> where i can get this brush again please let me know i love this brush uh, i have to constantly make sure it's clean because you know i really i really love using this brush All right, now we're going to get into the lid color. I went with a shimmery um, pinkish color because it's like, more, I think it's like a reflex because I feel like if it was on a different base, you would um, see it in a different tone. So I put that on the inner part of my eye. Um, like I said, you, you could barely see it, but once I put the other colors next to it, it really popped. All right, now I'm going to go into the next lid color, which is a orange color, and I put that right next to that um, shimmery um, pink, which I thought this was so, so pretty and vibrant of a look. Then I did go into Sugar Pills um, Poison Plum on the outer part to blend that into the um, eye look. I really love this orange. I have to do more with this orange from this palette. I think it's really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to use a wet wipe to clean the outer part of my eye and underneath my eye. And I'm going to get into talking. So, um, thank you for watching. And I hope this was, you know, informative <laughs> to you. Bye. Okay, guys. So... I did my eyes. So what I did that I didn't do on camera was um, I used my Dior um, pur matte purple and I carved the top part of my eye. First time for me doing it and I really love this pen because you can be per precise like that. You can really go into the inner part of the crease without it looking um, kind of weird. I'm just trying to do one more time so <clears throat> so you can go really lightly with it I didn't take it all the way over I just made sure it's just like right in the inner part just carved out the top part of my cut crease so I'm really liking these it's really dark um but I can't clean up this part, the inner part a little bit better. You know, go in and just correct your mistakes. If you notice it 
and it bothers you go in and fix it so right now I got coconut um, primer on by Marc Jacob the invisible I have also on pores no more um, from touch of soul and I also have matte um, mattifying primer from cover X cover FX is a sample I got from um, Sephora I have that on my face and I also set it with um, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder with this brush right here from Morphe is an E3 brush I am going to use these two concealers this is uh, NARS on Monday and I'm going to use Maybelline um, instant rewind this is in tan yeah so foundations today will be these two right here this is um, sheer glow by NARS and Marc Jacobs um remarkable really don't like this as much but it's really dark on me so i'm gonna put that i'm gonna put this around my face and this is gonna go in the inner portion um i'm looking for my little palette so i can put my um uh, mixtures in my so we're gonna get okay into i sprayed my brush down um not brush sprayed my beauty blender with um Touch of Soul Luminous Setting Powder, Setting Spray, and a little bit of Avion. I need some more of that. I really love that. So I'm going to use a brush. I'm going into the Marc Jacobs Foundation first. This is a setting brush from Real Techniques. Now, if you have a foundation that um, you feel that is too dark for you, um, you don't necessarily have to return it if you really like the the um, the consistency or the um, as you can see the um, coverage you can always keep it and put it on the outer rim of your face but you know nobody got time be trying to um, buy two foundations so if you have one if you have a foundation that is too dark good coverage you can use that and then you can use the one that you may have that's too light in the center of your face to try to make either one work but you know sometimes you want things to work of course you sh it should work for you and it should not you shouldn't have to do all of that but now I'm going into my um, NARS you shouldn't have to but Sometimes these companies do not make your right complexion color, and you're have you're gonna have to blend or mix things together to make it work, and that's including with drugstore um, things as well. I've learned like a lot of, along the line of I think CoverGirl's Queen collection is a really good um really good foundation but I don't know if they sell them um like they used to some Kmart's and stuff really you can't find your color either so that's just a way it's sad that people, you know, people of color have to do something like that just to get it to work. Because it's silly to think that, like, we don't wear foundation. We don't wear makeup or something. It's so weird. Um, I did want to get that um, Beauty Blender foundation. But I just saw a review on that and how bad the colors actually are. Like, the selection. Like, okay. Ain't nothing in there for me. 
So I'm going to go back and put a little bit more because I feel like this coverage is really, really good because I had a lot of breakout scars over here and I had one big one here and right there. So I really like this. I'm going to blend my chin with that um, Marc Jacobs foundation. Okay, so this is the base. I am loving this coverage. I love both of these together actually really nice so into concealers I'm gonna go in with the Monday first Wait, is this a Monday okay this is Monday I'm gonna use this in a minute always carve out my nose first I always do the inner part of my um, face up in here. I don't drag it super like real but triangle. Uh, yeah, triangle going down like that. I have high cheekbones and that's not going to work for me. So I go in the inner part of my... face and I just take the beauty blender and I drag it on. Instead of putting so much um, product on me. Go into Age Rewind. Beauty Blender. Okay, setting powder, going to use Laura Mercier setting powder. I do not bake. I take my brush and I press into the... Um, the concealer I normally just bake underneath my chin because I feel like baking up under my eye makes me look really weird Okay, contour. I'm using my my favorite, my Mark um, Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in number ten. I haven't used this in a while. So 
So now I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to use this brush right here. I'm going to spray it with Tatcha Luminous Spray. And I'm just going to buff that on in. Okay, I just contoured with Makeup by Shayla um, Contour Powder um, by Tarte. And uh, now I'm going into some blush by MAC. I'm going into um, Devil right here. Now I'm going to do my under eye. She used a bright blue. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use Sky up under my eye. Okay, I'm gonna do the okay. Now I'm going into the Ace Beauty Slice of Paradise palette. Now that I know that <sighs> these are like pigments, you have to um, give it something wet or sticky base before you go into it because um, it's not gonna stay and they do not blend well together. I'm going into Kiwi. Not really digging that. So we're going to go into a shimmery green. Okay, I'm going to knock off that powder. Laura Mercier powder I set up under my contour. bronzer so okay I'm gonna use my Guerlain bronzer 
This is in Terracotta Four Season. Okay, I'm using Chestnut Lip Liner. I'm using Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. Okay, now I'm using Crayon Case Gloa, a Glola. This is so pretty. I can't stop putting up, putting it on. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I untwist my hair. I don't think I'm gonna blow dry my hair the next time I wash it. I probably, probably in the night. I don't think I want to wash my hair again. So I'm probably gonna wash my hair again and blow dry it. Just straighten it out some, and probably put it in a ponytail. So my hair is very, very purple. If you want to know what dye I've been using is Pravana Violet. I need to do my roots again, but like, I think it's pretty good. I have on my strapless bra and I'm very proud of it. I got it from Torrid and I'm very proud of this bra. I've been searching for a strapless bra forever. So this is the look. I'm really digging it. I think, it, I, think I got sort of close to what she did um i did go into ace of beauty um blue and i used kiwi but the kiwi color didn't really show up so i ended up using 
yellow from um be perfect palette the king color on top of it and then i put what is another green a green out of my um simpsons palette and i think it, i got to sort of where she was at um i think my lid is a lot more pink than hers hers was more of a light pink but I'm not mad at it with the orange and everything. I think this is really pretty. Um, I'm gonna put on some earrings later, I guess, because I sure didn't put none on. But I have my necklace on that I think I got. I forgot, I forgot, I don't remember what I got this from. But it's a adjustable rope um, necklace. It's silver and I'm gonna wear silver um earrings so this is it so i hope you enjoy this look and till next time thank you for watching and i am going to do an outfit of the day with this outfit on and